Hello, Springville Bulldogs. Miss Newitt here coming to you from the tent that I built in my living room for Tent Tuesday of our Spirit Week at Springville Elementary School. I miss each and every one of you so much and wish that we could be creating beautiful music in our music room at school. But instead, I thought that I would share a book with you that's one of my favorites. It's called Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo by John Lithgow. I hope you like it just as much as I do. Never play music right next to the zoo. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep despite all the music and song. All at once the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh children remember Whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, just desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes, and the bassoons. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played brass. The percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret, the flute. The jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silver moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures were all safely captured. But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. They finished and each put his instrument down. They bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear. You'd better wake up or we're leaving you here. Oh, children, remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, no, 
never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when the orchestra plays. The end. If you're still listening, thank you so much for spending story time with me and our book, Never play instrument, never play music right next to the zoo. I hope during your time at home, you're learning lots. You're taking time to get outside in the beautiful sunshine and have some creativity. I hope you're joining us for our different days of Spirit Week. And don't forget to follow Spring Mill Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you soon.